Hey everybody, I'm Ryan. I'm gonna do that again, that was weird. Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're gonna- Fuck! Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today- Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're gonna talk about the Popper metagame. Now this is taken mostly from decks of top 32s in challenges and 5-0s in leagues on Magic Online. So technically this is a winner's metagame, but I think it still definitely reflects the decks you're going to be playing against when you play Popper. So let's check out the overall Popper metagame. It has been shifting quite a bit in the last month and a half, but has settled with this the past few weeks. At the very top is Mono Blue Delver. In second is Grixis Affinity, the used to be most popular deck by a lot. And tied in third is Demir Fairies and Demir Control. Let's talk about these three decks. Mono Blue Delver is the premier tempo deck of the format. Playing tempo-oriented cards and really big cards for their mana costs, like Delver of Secrets, Cryptic Servant, and Talarian Terror as well as many ways to fill your graveyard so you can play the Cryptic Servant and Talarian Terror very early, card draw to filter through your deck, and counterspell effects. And the deck is just really, really, really good at what it does. Grixis Affinity is one of the premier midrange decks of the format. It uses a bunch of artifact synergies and the artifact lands uh, to siphon through their deck as fast as possible. They draw a ton of cards and then play big, very, very cheap frets like Mirror Enforcer to close out the game on their enemies as they sort of control what their enemies are trying to do. Mirror Fairies is sort of doing what Mono Blue Delver is trying to do, but they're splashing black and playing a lot of different cards. It utilizes the fairy synergies, mostly of Spell Starter Sprite, to incidentally counter your opponent's cards. And then when they attack with this flying creature, when it isn't blocked, they'll return Spell Spreader Fright to their hand and put a Ninja of the Deep Hours under the battlefield to draw a card, and then Spell Spreader Sprite gets to live another day and counter another spell in the future. Other than that, it does a lot of the same things that Mono Blue Delver does. Besides running literal kill spells, it doesn't have to counter literally everything. And they're looking to out-tempo their opponents. Demir Control, on the other hand, is looking to answer everything their opponent is doing, and then play just very cheap threats, again like Talarian Terror or Gourmet Gangler, to close out the game after they stop their opponent from playing the game. Well, let's look at the top 8 metagame from the two challenges this past weekend. And it kind of looks like the overall metagame. At the very top is Mono Blue Delver, and tied in 2nd and 3rd is Dimmy Fairies, and a new deck on the scene, or at least a new deck, top 3, Cogates. Cogates is one of my favorite decks right now. Now what it does is plays recursive creatures or hard to deal with creatures like Squadron Hawk or Sacred Cat or Guardian of the Guild Pact, draws a bunch of cards, plays counter magic, and mostly just plays a lot of gates alongside Basilisk Gate, which gives plus X plus X to a creature for the amount of gates that you control. So they control their opponent, it's essentially a control deck, and then they finish the game very, very quickly putting Basilisk Gate on one of these really hard to deal with threats. That is the Popper metagame. If you like videos like this and want to see more, you want to see more, please be sure to like and subscribe. Check me out on social medias. Links are above me and in the description, especially on Twitter and Discord. Join the communities there and check out Patreon where I post sideboard guides and a bunch of other cool stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.